A projectile is fired from the point A with the velocity V at an angle theta to the horizontal. We are required to find the range of the projectile, in other words, the distance from A to B, B being the point where the projectile hits the ground. Let's say that the projectile was in the air for t seconds, and we will consider the up direction to be positive. Now, the velocity has two components. One is in the horizontal direction, let's call it Vx, and the other is in the vertical direction, and let's designate that as Vy. Now, in the horizontal direction, the velocity is constant. We are assuming that air resistance is negligible. Therefore, if the projectile was in the air for t seconds, Vx being constant, the distance r traveled by the projectile is Vx times t. Now let's consider the motion in the vertical direction. Now at B, the displacement is zero because the projectile is back to the ground. So we know this familiar equation, the displacement is equal to the original velocity in the upward direction, which is Vy, times the time plus half gt squared. We put g as negative because gravity is working in the downward direction and that is considered negative from our supposition and we have t squared. Therefore, v y t equals half g t squared or t equals 2 v y over g. Now from this equation, we can write that t equals r over vx. So t is r over vx, t is also 2 vy over g, so all of these terms being equal, we can write it like this, from which Moving the terms, we get that the range is 2 Vx Vy over G. Now, the component of the velocity in the horizontal direction at angle theta is V cos theta. So Vx is V cos theta. And the velocity in the vertical direction, the component, is v sine theta. So repla replacing the terms here, we have 2 v cos theta times v sine theta over g. That is the range. In other words, this is v squared 2 cos theta sine theta over g. Now, <clears throat> those of you who have done trigonometry know that sine 2 theta equals 2 sine theta cos theta. So the range is v squared sine 2 theta over g, where g is the acceleration due to gravity. So if the projectile had been, for, had been fired with a velocity of 500 uh, or let's say 50 meters per second, and theta was 37 degrees, to find the range, it'll be v squared, 25, or 50 times 50, 2,500, sine 2 theta, let's say the angle was, pick a random number, 37 degrees, so sine 2 theta will be sine 74 degrees, which from the tables comes to 0.9613, and the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. You can plug all those numbers in and find the range. So the formula for the range is v squared times sine 2 theta divided by g, where v is the velocity with which the projectile is fired, theta is the angle to the horizontal, 
and g is the acceleration due to gravity.